Down. Yeah, yeah, ready? Yes. We're, good morning. We've had a few technical issues this morning, and we thought we started five minutes ago, and we didn't. Uh, but we're going to start now. Okay, so welcome to the Kabaras Health Alliance and the Wellness Kitchen. My name is Mark Allison. I'm the chef of culinary innovation for the Kabaras Health Alliance. And my job is to actually teach people how to cook healthy. So normally, this class would be full of people, and I'd be doing two or three healthy recipes that everybody enjoys at the end of the class. But because we're now keeping our distance, we are going to do the Space Boot Live. This is our second segment. Uh, we've got great reviews from the first one. Hopefully we'll get great reviews now, even though we're five minutes late, I apologize. Uh, that was out of our control. Uh, what we're going to do is basically three dishes today. We're going to do a sweet potato soup, we're going to do a hickama salad and we're going to do a, a smoothie with blackberries and blueberries. Um, I hope everybody is well, I hope everybody is healthy and everybody's keeping their distance. Uh, everything I have today, I actually got at the food store yesterday without a problem. It's funny, we look for meat, we kind of get meat, we kind of get canned goods, frozen goods, but there's lots of fruits and vegetables. So everything that you see here now, I was able to purchase yesterday without a problem. So, because we thought we were live five minutes ago, I'd already started the soup. So I'll tell you what's in the soup. We have a sweet potato soup going on here. I put four cups of vegetable stock. I've got two cloves of garlic. I've got a chopped up onion and a carrot. And I was just gonna demonstrate how to do a sweet potato. Uh, I left the skin on all the vegetables because the nutrition is just below the skin so why take that off just make sure that you thoroughly wash all the vegetables and before you start anything make sure you thoroughly wash your hands have your chopping board clean and sanitized and have a really good sharp knife okay so our sweet potatoes all we're basically going to do is cut them into even sized pieces and then drop them into our stock the stock is in the pan with the onions, the garlic, and the carrot, and some fresh ginger. And then we just wanna put these sweet potatoes in with all the other ingredients. And we're basically just gonna let that boil for around about 10 minutes. We don't wanna overcook anything because we don't wanna lose any of the nutrition. So we're just gonna let that basically boil for 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes from now, we're just gonna pop it into our food processor and we've got this beautiful sweet potato soup. So we've got the sweet potatoes in. We are gonna add a little bit of heat with some chili pepper flakes. So we're gonna put that in. And then we are just gonna add a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor of everything. And that's basically our soup done. We just move out and dishes out of the way. I have a bowl and this is where we're gonna put all our trash. If you're in the composting, keep all the fruits and vegetables appealed, put that in your compost, everything else goes in the trash can. Have a bowl so that you've got nothing uh, that has been used in your area that could end up either in your stock pot or in a certain item, just keep it all by itself. Okay, so the soup is on the go. We'll just bring that to the boil. In literally 10 minutes from now, that'll be going in the food processor and it will be done. Our next dish, okay, I am all about smoothies. Practically every morning I have a smoothie and I'll vary the fruits and vegetables that go in the smoothie, but it's the best way I've found to start the day packing your body full of nutrition. So, we have some ice in our blender. Now it's up to you, I normally use almond milk, but we've got fresh milk today. Or you could use coconut milk, or you could use water or coconut water. That goes in the blender. We have some almonds, great protein. That can go in the blender. We have blueberries, and make sure the wild blueberries, and then we'll pop them in. And then we've got some blackberries as well. The darker the fruit, the more nutrition is in the fruit. That goes in. We have some spinach. We'll pop in as well. And then I have got an avocado and a kiwi root. So the kiwi 
It's packed again full of nutrition. We're just going to top and tail the kiwi. And then take off the peel on the sides. Just take your knife and peel around the kiwi. And again, drop that into our compost. And then cut through the kiwi, roughly chop it, and then drop it into our blender. Now, avocados, what you want to do is, you can see this nib on the top, well if you just peel that away, if it is green, just like it is there, then that avocado is fresh. So what you want to do is take your knife and be very careful to cut around the avocado. And we're just going to use half the avocado. You cut around the stone, you twist it, and look at that, beautiful, nice and fresh. Now, to remove the stone, basically just take your knife, put it in the stone, twist it, get rid of the stone, and then you've got both sides of the avocado to use. We're only using one, so what I would suggest is you put some lemon juice on this, put it in a Ziploc bag, or wrap it with plastic, pop it in the fridge, it'll be good for the next two or three days, okay? So, our avocado, just take a knife, cut through the flesh, turn down the soup, because it's boiling, take a spoon, and then just pop the avocado into our blender. Even before you drink that, you can see it's packed full of nutrition, okay? So, we're just going to pop that onto the machine, pop your lid on, I always put a cloth on the top, no need really, but just in case, and then blend. <laughs> So that's the smoothie, easy. All the ingredients available at your normal food store, easy to make, what, less than five minutes, okay? So that's one down, soup is on the go. So that's another one down. Our final recipe today is a jicama salad. So we will take our salad ingredients and what we've got is a jicama, okay? We have got a pear, a mango, lime, red onion, and a Thai red chili. Now, if you can't get Thai red chilies, uh, put a jalapeno in, or just put some red chili flakes in, okay? If you don't want any heat, just leave it out. Remember, a recipe is a blueprint. As long as you keep the quantities of the recipe, it should turn out right. So if there's something that you don't like, that like you might not like a mango, change it to a pineapple, or change it to a peach, something that you actually like, okay? So, we've also got some fresh mint in cilantro, which smell absolutely fabulous. And then we have a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of honey. So, this is how we make this salad. We're gonna take our jicama, and again, it's something round that's gonna roll around the chopping board. So what you need to do is basically make it flat. So take off the top of the hickman, turn it around, compost, and then take your knife and then go around the sides of the hickman. And if anybody hasn't used the hickman before, 
it is a Mexican potato. It tastes a bit like a cross between an apple and a water chestnut. It's got a really nice crisp uh, texture to it and a beautiful fresh flavor to it. And you can actually eat it raw or you can cook it, you can roast it, you can boil it. Just take off all the skin, the peel. And again, you can see I've taken very little for the peel off because again, we're trying to use or trying to keep all that nutrition. So, cut through, and then you've got a flat surface. Cut off some slices, and again with a sharp knife, it just goes straight through the jicama. You don't have to put too much pressure on. And then we're just gonna slice those slices into matchsticks by cutting through the slices with your sharp knife. A solid bowl, we're just gonna pop the tip of my end. And then finish off the tip of on the other side. Through your slices. Pop it in the bowl. Our mango again, it's gonna roll around. So flatten it off. In a mango, you should be able to squeeze and feel it that it's not too soft and it's not too hard. Smell it, it should be nice and fresh. It doesn't really matter about the color, the colors all vary, but as long as it smells fresh and it's got a little bit of a squeeze to it, then that mango should be ripe. Remember, mangoes have a pretty big stone in the middle. So again, I'm just really taking off a thin layer of the peel because again, we want to keep all that nutrition that can go in our compost. So the stone is roughly here. So what you want to do is slice through the mango and then you can start to feel where the stone is. Turn it around, slice through again start to feel where that stone is and then take off on the sides and that's your mango done stack up the slices and then just cut through and again what you're trying to do is make matchsticks because everything wants to be relatively the same size Pop into your salad bowl, cut through again, turn it round, slice through. You can notice that my knife is on the chopping board all the time. The point is on the chopping board, when I'm cutting through, the length of the knife is on the chopping board. That way the knife never comes off the chopping board. That's how it's really impossible to cut your fingers, because the knife is always touching the board. Mango in, just chop up this leftover mango quickly, and then that goes into our bowl. We have some olive oil that's going to go in. We have some honey, just as a little sweetener that can go in. We've got some red onion. So the red onion, we are just gonna cut into a quarter and then cut into thin slices. We're not gonna use too much red onion because the red onion will overpower everything else. So you basically just want a small amount of onion going in. We have a pear. So as you can see, this is all whole foods, all fresh fruits and vegetables. With the pan, just slice through. When you get near the core, stop, turn it around. And then again, just stack up the slices, cut them lengthways, and then again, cut them into matchsticks. 
See him again, lengthways, turn it round, keeping your knife on the chopping board at all times, rock the knife through, keeping your fingers out of the way, making sure everything is the right size, pop the pan in with the mango, and the jicama, then you've got your Thai chili, we're just going to roughly chop that. That's just going to add a little touch of heat. And a Thai chili is quite sweet, so it goes really well with the avocado, with the mango, and that touch of honey you put in. Your lime, just roll the lime backwards and forwards, and that breaks down the segments. Cut it in half. Take out the juice. Straight into your bowl. That will also stop the pear from discoloring. Try and get as much of that juice out as possible. The smell is absolutely amazing. You can smell that lime, you can smell the mango, the pear, the jicama. Move that out of the way. And then we've got our mint. So we're going to take some the leaves of the mint. It smells absolutely fabulous. It's one of my favorite herbs. And then we've got some cilantro as well. Some people like cilantro. I love it. Other people don't. Just leave it out if it's not a herb that you particularly like, okay? Or leave the herbs to one side and then ask before you serve this salad if somebody doesn't like cilantro. Again, your knife, just rock it backwards and forwards. Keeping your fingers out of the way. You can smell that cilantro and the mint, absolutely fabulous. This just basically finishes off this dish. Spatula. And you're just going to mix that all together. What I would normally do with this, I would make it at least one hour in advance. And then you can let all of them flavors infuse together. And this is fabulous just as a salad. Or it could be served with something like grilled fish or chicken. Or if you're serving barbecue, serve this as an alternative to a normal coleslaw. Okay? And there is our jicama and mango salad. Absolutely fabulous. Our soup, turn off the heat, get the bowl. And then carefully pour this into our blender. So remember, we had onion, carrot, sweet potato, a little bit of garlic and some ginger, some chili flakes, a little bit of salt. Put our lid back on, on the blender, cloth on the top. salad. 
and a blueberry and blackberry smoothie. Stay well, stay safe, stay healthy, and tune in next week. Cheers.